Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy player once again. Today, this is a video on data structures. So, if you don't know what data structures are, they actually there are different types of data structures for organizing objects. Not only objects, it can, you can organize op reference types or data types. So, you can have a an array of strings, array of integers, array of decimals or double, etc., etc. Or you can even have an array of objects, which is what we will be focusing on. It doesn't even have to be an array list as a data structure. It could be a linked list, tree, queue, stack. There's several other data structures, but in the scope of this video, I used queue. This is one of the big mistakes I should have done. So in my solution, I should have actually used linked list one of the sections in this assignment while the other part using Q is fine so if you stumbled upon this video and you want my source code you have to contact me through my snapchat or my instagram both will be provided in the description below the, um, in my opinion the, the functionalities always remain the same every year but the context always changes so for my time I had to manage a, a student bank account, basically a, a student finance. Everyone does it every year. I had to ma make a version of that using data structures to organize these objects of students and linking it to their transactions. So, like in our in my science specifically, I had to hold five transactions, and the uh, oldest transaction. Would have to be removed from the list so i have to display five maximum removing the oldest one this year we're talking in 2020 by the way or 2019 2019 slash 2020 this year they they made it students and grades so you have to develop a system that manages the students modules and presenting data and things like that but i don't really know the full detail but it's going to keep changing every year so you can't guarantee this will ever come back but if it does I'm just going to say you're one very lucky person if you find this. That's what I'm saying. So I'm just going to showcase you my classes. So package and finance. Nothing really special here. Just declare your variables. Student ID, name, email, creation date, and balance. I declared, in, I declared it in the student account actually. Well, as a linked list. To be honest, this actually originally this was actually a both queues. So I'm just gonna show you some of the source code. Cut this part. This is one of the biggest mistakes. Don't make the student account a queue because with a queue you have the head and the tail. Say if I wanted to remove Say I have Ben, John, Walter, Kieran, and Jonathan. Say if I wanted to remove the middle person from the from this account. If I delete that person, that messes up the entire program. So if you have acquired a source code, that's the first thing you need to fix. Do not use a queue. Use a linked list, and it's up to you to work out a sort of patch against this. So as I scroll down the source code, pretty basic to you. You just make this is just a method to make a new account. Your getter methods. I'm gonna be honest, these they tell you to put them there, but I had to anyway, so I can't complain. Here you just delete an account. This could be improved, in my opinion. You could using the linked list data structure, you can actually Maybe create a searching algorithm that actually searches for the ID. Maybe you can use a hash map or a hash key. Assign a hash key to a student account and find this hash key or hash map to this account and delete it like that rather than what I did here, deleting it according to its ID. It still is valid, but it would be more genuine if you can find a unique identifier and delete it like that. What I did is it's actually invalid because the account basically still exists. It's not actually 
the object is not actually deleted, it still exists but with new reassignments, which is very silly. I'm just pointing out some of the things that need fixing if you do acquire my prototype. This is perfectly fine, but if you do something like sorting it, you're going to have to work on fixing that also. But other than that, most of these functions are working as expected. So this stores the transaction. Oh yeah, this. Okay, so you can hold the maximum of five transactions or six. Once the maximum is reached, then it, the most recent transaction is removed. No, the oldest one, correction. Then this is my sort algorithm. Oh my days, I'm telling you. Queues. It took me so long to find out how to sort a queue. It was just linked list, name of the transaction class. That's it. Collection on sort, linked list, that's it. With stacks, it's actually collections on collections dot sort, linked list, dot stack, something like that. But I don't know the entirety, but that was this was a piss take, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, very important, you're gonna have to have a compare to method. Make sure you do it this way, you're probably told that. Do it in the natural sorting, so the natural sorting is in ascending order. Okay, that's the, that's the student account class. I'll just show you the transaction class. Perfectly fine. I'm going to be honest, you don't even have to worry about making patches to this class at all. Just make sure you have this. The compare to class, implement comparable as well. And you'll be perfectly fine. Then, you'll, then the last class, this you have to run. So your labels, your text field, your buttons. I had to use Excel to actually format it properly to show you, give you this result, which I'm going to show you shortly. This is just giving you functionality. You need the static main void, otherwise this is not even going to execute at all. Add to assign functions into, into the text fields and whatnot. Also, action listeners for when you click a button, for example, so say if I click add account, it will, it will pull the method from the student account class. Same with all the other buttons here, clear account, everything becomes empty strings. Nothing too major, but, but you know what I mean. Add account, delete account. New transaction is absolutely fine, but again, be careful because if you do get my prototype, you're going to have to really do some investigating especially on these parts so right here i did to display sorted transaction but one big mistake is you need to show a way to sort it and then unsort it that's one thing my teacher actually catched me out on which never mentioned it in the coursework but it kind of makes sense you need to show a way to sort and unsort the data but I'll leave you guys to figure it out. So, just to show you the final product. This is another thing, so as you run it, you're going to have this presented to you. I think what would be appropriate if you're going to use a graphic user interface, try have an output box in here as well, rather than using this output menu because my, my supervisor is really complaining about me using this as an output. Well, hell, I was used. I used the BlueJ, you know, using the print terminal from there. So I thought that's another thing. Why not? Oh yeah, before I wrap this video up, make sure you put try and catches into these into these works, okay? Because that's another mistake I completely forgot to do. So, for example, say if I wrote. This this is a problem. You'll get this unnecessarily. If you can catch errors like this, perfectly fine. Same if you're lucky, you might want to learn how to do the date, year, month format. And then if you scroll down, oh my bad. It's gonna work. So if I display account, there you go. Same with the 
when you want to add transactions, make sure you have the ID that you want, and then you just say test. So I'll just call it test amount 100 data time. I'll just say that. Then you can see at the bottom, transactions are processing, keep on going. And we're saying only six transactions will be displayed, hence the oldest one will be removed. Display. That's all my transactions. And then you click display sort transactions. Well, it's not really sort because I'm, I'm using the same value, but you get the point. Anyway, like and subscribe, comment, leave a comment if you must, or contact my social media if you want to acquire this source code for this piece of work. If you get caught by your teacher that this isn't your work, I'm sorry, sounds like a you problem. That's all I'm saying. Peace out.